Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. So today is going to be a detailed video on making the Starbucks snow globes. Um, so this is one of my more popular videos and I get a ton of questions on it. So of course you're going to do, you're going to need a Starbucks tumbler. And so I get my Starbucks tumbler from Starbucks, whether it be a standalone store inside of a Kroger, inside of a Target. Um, this is the Venti size and they are $14.95. I don't think the screen's going to clear. But yeah, a lot of y'all be telling me like y'all can't find them. Like if y'all need me to start an underground like something and starbucks i'm just joking when i say this y'all just let me know okay uh, and so i'm also using this is a rhinestone hot fix tool and the size of the the attachment that i'm using on the end is the ss34 attachment and so a lot of uh other questions i get in comments is that they can't y'all can't get y'all's piece of plastic to come out cleanly girl neither can i <laughs> when y'all saw that first video that was pure luck that time pure luck that when i was filming that thing came out in one shot it's okay if it does not come out in one piece just know have a plan on what you're gonna do when it doesn't come out in one piece you can see like my thing is acting like it, do, it just it's not want to do it my biggest tip is make sure you're not making your hole, like when you're doing this, don't make the hole bigger than it needs to be by moving the tool around too much. So I'm actually picking up my cup so I can see through the side because I don't want to be pushing through slowly and next thing you know, I'm pushing on the bottom layer and now I'm pushing actually into the cup itself. That you don't want to do. So turn your cup to the side and see. And so now it's still acting like it don't want to come out. I just heat it back up and then I just take a weeding tool and I pull it out and then I'm just gonna take it. It's kind of soft at this point. I'm just gonna take some scissors and I'm gonna snip it. It's that simple, y'all. Don't don't stress uh, if it doesn't come out cleanly in one piece. Like it's not gonna ruin the cup. It's not gonna kill the cup. Oh, and then I seen the girlies using these little massage gun things, okay? So I went to Amazon and I bought the cheapest one I could find. It was $18. It's funny though, cause you know, y'all know my husband is like really into fitness. Like he's like really in shape. And so he, uh, he was like, oh no, this isn't like a real one. This is, you could tell this is cheap. I'm like, oh, excuse me. Um, and so I'm going to be using the frosted donut, little polymer clays. Cause we're going to do a donut thing. And I'm also going to be using Starburst chunky glitter. And so I do glycerin and water. Oh, and all y'all was also in the comments heavy talking about get the tattoo thing. It's like, damn, like, is y'all going to contribute? Like, I don't make money from doing these videos. Like, do y'all want to cash that? I don't have cash app or Venmo because that's a whole nother. Story. I don't borrow money from people and people can't borrow money from me. So I don't have those kind of things. Like, I only have Zelle because I have a bank account. <laughs> but that's just me. Uh, but yeah, if y'all want to contribute to a little supply fund, y'all let me know. <laughs> But yeah, so I went and got these two off of Amazon and I got the pink ones because even though I'm not, the crazy thing is I'm not that big on pink, but I wanted a colored one because like clear, I didn't want it to seem like I work in the tattoo shop. And so I do a one-to-one -one ratio of uh, water to glycerin and I always use bottled water um, just because we all live in different places, there's all different things in our water and you don't, you don't want that in your snow globe, okay? Because I know like here in Colorado, if I take faucet water and I boil it in my electric kettle and I put a tea bag in it, and this happened in Louisiana too, it was always murky. Like it looked like river water, like very nasty, very gross. Like don't drink the faucet water. And it's like, don't they tell you like if you boil it off, it's supposed to like boil out the impurities? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm not doing it right. Anyways, so I'm gonna, I like to start off my cups by adding a little bit of, um, water to the bottom of the cup and this is just because having the water already in the bottom helps break up the glitter that you're going to put in there a little easier um because if you just go in straight with the glitter i've found that you have to just work a lot harder to break up the glitter once you put the water in this so you can see i'm pointing to the water level that i put in so just a little bit not a lot all right, and so let's use this little gun thing. And so I feel like using this, it's like about finding the perfect spot on your cup to hit it at. And I'm only saying that because you're probably like, Mon, why didn't you tape off the cup? And I didn't think of that until I was almost done. And you will see me put a little tape on there because a little, the, the glitter was falling everywhere. And I'm like, what am I doing differently? I don't know. Y'all know how sometimes like, you be sitting down crafting and you have a whole plan in your mind and like you just start forgetting the plan happens to me every time I sit down and do crafts <laughs> literally every time and so this makes it easier you don't have to sit there and keep you know hitting the cup and banging the cup which is nice you know I don't 
also don't feel like if you're not going to be doing a bunch of snow globes, I don't know if this is necessarily required unless you just have like stiff hands. Um, <clears throat> speaking of which y'all, uh, so you're probably like, Mon, I thought you said you was going to be more consistent. You was going to be doing more videos. Y'all, I went and got another job. <laughs> so if you don't know, I'm a full-time engineer. Um, so I do that as my bread and butter job. Uh, and then I'm also a licensed esthetician. So now I just got a part-time job waxing. So on my off days, I'm going to be waxing. So when I was supposed to sit down and film videos this past weekend, I was working Friday and Sunday. And so Saturday I needed to clean my house because, you know, clean house, clean mind. And so, yeah. So y'all bear with me if the schedule changes a little bit or my goal was to do two to three videos a week. It might be more like zero to one, depending, because when I tell y'all I have been sleeping so hard from them two little extra days at work that it's too much on my little body. So we'll see how long I last. But if you're in the Colorado area, in the Denver metro area, and you need a waxer, I'll leave a comment below and I'll tell you where I work. So that's what we're working with. That's the glitter and the little donuts in there. And the donuts, the little polymer clays, I have a bunch of polymer clays on my website and I got more coming out. So check it out, period6glitter.com. That's also where you can pick up the glitter is period6glitter.com. Um, and I'll leave a link to it below. And so now I'm just going to finish filling it up with the water. And someone's going to ask how much of the mixture does it take? Um, however big that little cup from the Dollar Tree is. I, girl, I don't know. Go on their website and look it up. If somebody leave a comment below and I'll put it in the description box. I'm not sure. I think it's like two ounces. If I had to guess, two to three ounces. I don't know. Girl, I do not know. Fluid ounces. And so now, before I fill the cup all the way up, I'm just going to work on breaking up, getting that mixture to seep down into the, the glitter and really get that snow globe effect going. So you really got to shake it hard, really got to break it up, really get it going. So, and I just hold a paper towel over the open end uh, so it doesn't splash everywhere. So you can see now, now we're moving, now we're going, now we're getting somewhere. Yes, 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 it's working. And I ran out of paper towel, so I had to go get some more real quick. So just keep filling it up, keep shaking it. And now I'm just, I'm just, at this point, I'll be experimenting too while I'll be filming these videos. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh, I wonder, can I use the little, this gun thing to help break it up? And so, yeah, no, it don't work like that. <laughs> so just keep filling, keep shaking, keep filling, keep shaking until you get all the way to the top. And so once I'm satisfied with the fill and the shake and the movement, um, and I'm going to be trying some other snow globe mixtures. I got some other things coming that I'm working on um, that I'm going to be trying, like different mix ratios and stuff. Um, but yeah, I like to keep my cup upside down. And let it sit to the next day. Let those air bubbles rise um, and all that good stuff. And so the next day I will wake up and I will come in and I will put again, put the paper towel over the hole and shake it up to see how I like it. And if everything looks good, I say, all right, let's do this. And so now is the sealing part. So what I like to do is that I like to take alcohol on that 70% isopropyl alcohol on a paper towel and I clean off the bottom really good clean off the bottom really good because like glycerin is like it's like an oil it's a technically it's a it's a surfactant so it's a moisturizer so what you're going to want to do is just make sure you're using your alcohol to get that nice and clean and dry and oil free and I do this like a bunch of times And so I'm going to be using the Gorilla Glue 5 Minute Epoxy. It's a two-part epoxy to just fill in the hole. So I do this in two steps. So I fill in the hole and then I fill in the bottom. Because filling the hole is the most important thing. And you don't really want to combine that with filling in the bottom. Because you can fill in the bottom and the hole not be sealed good. And then what happens is if you just try to just fill in the bottom, your liquid is going to be leaking out of that hole, pressing up against the bottom. And eventually it's going to cause damage to your cup. Um, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have a nice solid hole in the cup and that we fill that first. Now, if you don't do yours like this, I really don't care. Um, I'm telling y'all from experience, baby, because 
my little struggle crew, y'all know, like, I do things, I struggle, um, but I learn from my mistakes, and that's the biggest thing. And so I don't like to mound my my little plug. I just try to get it as flat as possible to the cup. And so I wait at least 30 minutes before I finish up the bottom. So I'm going to wipe it one or two more times just again to make sure all that slip from the glycerin is off of the cup and we can get some nice adhesion. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of solstice. Solstice, yes, is coming back um, into the five minute epoxy. And then we're just going to fill in the bottom. So you don't need a bunch. It's maybe like five mils combined, if that. It's just a little bit. Um, because I don't like it to reach the complete, complete bottom. But you want to like make like a nice, good little bottom layer. But still make sure that your cup is going to be flat. Don't, don't get pressed on trying to fill it all the way to the top. Do be pressed about making sure this epoxy touches them edges. Because remember, that's another reason people are like, why don't you use UV epoxy? UV epoxy shrinks when you put it under the light. And so if you've made it a point to push it up against the edges, as soon as you put it under that light, it's going to shrink. So now you don't have the best uh, seal possible on the bottom of your cup. And so, again, it's just a personal decision. You know, do what works best for you. But scientifically, I know that how UV uh, epoxy works and I just don't think it's good for this application again it's a personal opinion do what works best for you you just won't see me doing it like that and I've done it like that previously and that's how I've learned all of this um just through experience and so that's what it looks like like I said I don't fill it all the way to the bottom bottom because again remember we've already plugged our hole so as long as we get that good hole plug the rest of this is just decoration all right so on my last one you guys asked a ton of questions because I did not show myself making the decals on the cup and so I thought it was kind of like understood. Sometimes I forget, like, I know some of y'all been rocking with me. I appreciate y'all. I'm glad y'all are here. Some of y'all are a little new. Hello, welcome. I'm Monica. I'm the one over here crafting and creating over here on the channel. Mostly struggling, but we all struggle when we make it. And so, uh, yeah, the last design was a layered Valentine's Day design. Today I'm going to be making like a layered donut design. And so I don't, y'all, I have been craving donuts so bad. Like I've been to like Krispy Kreme, Voodoo Donut, like, I don't know why, like, I just, I'm a bread girl, though, so, like, bread just speaks to my soul, but honestly, I'm also old now, and so, like, I can't eat donuts first thing in the morning, like, I don't know how people do that, like, when I was in my 20s, maybe, but, like, now that I'm old, I cannot eat that sweet stuff in the morning, <laughs> um, anyways, and so, this is just a layered design, I picked it up off Etsy, so, it's actually for the Starbucks cold cup, and I'm going to show y'all what I did to like, kind of make it work for me because this is the design that I just liked. And so, yeah, so I made these on my Cricut. When you buy the file on Etsy, it already comes with the layers and they're already like color coded. So, you know, which ones go with which color and you can change the colors, of course, if you want to. And so you just cut them. And so I keep the file right next to me when I am about to start layering them. So you cut them. It's four different cuts for this specific design. You weed them, and now we're going to start layering them. And so my laptop is right up to the side of me, so I can see which goes where. Um, yeah, and then I just take a little piece. And so I do mine the slow way because tragedy always strikes me when I try to do it the right way. And the right way is to take one big long sheet of transfer tape and layer it to just do four transfers of three well technically three so you would pick one layer and then you would work from the bottom up and so you would have started with this little like the little tan sheet the base of the donut and then layer the icing and then layer the sprinkles um yeah I wasn't going to do that because every time I try to do it in one foul swoop I always mess it up and it's when it's this many little elements it's so hard to line up so I just take the time and I just do them individually again if you're more confident in yourself than I am when it comes to layering uh such big designs girl do your thing me not so much so yeah it's just not gonna happen for me and so I don't even know if y'all want to see all this but yeah and also I do want to tell everybody thank you for the well wishes y'all know I was sick and I'm still having a few little longish COVID symptoms um but overall healthy and I hate when y'all be saying I be having y'all be having bad days that be hurting me because like I don't want nobody to have a bad day I always tell people my saying is that I woke up this morning and so that is my chance to give life another shot so even if yesterday was crappy y'all just remember if you're here watching this video 
you're meant to be here for a reason, whether you take that as here in this channel, here on earth, whatever you're doing, wherever you're at in life, you know, you're meant to be here. So if you're having a hard day, a rough day, I'm sorry to hear that, but don't stay down. Don't stay out. And I know it's a, and I'm saying that as someone who I like to mope and be sad and be depressed too, but we also have to get up and put on our best face and put our best foot forward because God gave us another chance. And so we just got to take that chance and try to seize the day as best as we can. Anyway, so enough of my motivational speech. And so now I am just taking a long sheet of transfer tape. And I just bought this transfer tape off Amazon. It's the HTV Ront. Is that how you say HTV Ront? I've worked with them before. Uh, I use their heat press on this channel. Um, not sponsored because apparently everybody thinks I'm supposed to work for free. I guess that's why I have three jobs now. Um... <laughs> pay content creators y'all get mad when content content creators ask for compensation but y'all don't realize that if I have to create content that means I'm staying up late from my one of many jobs in order to create content for you and you want me to do it for free baby no if I'm gonna do it for free I'm gonna do what I want and so that's why y'all don't be seeing a lot of sponsored content on this channel because baby I already have a, I have a full-time job that pays me well I don't I'm not gonna, I don't work for them for free. Anyways, that don't got nothing to do with y'all. Uh, so what I'm doing is, like I told y'all, this was built for the cold cup. So it's not as tall as it needs to be for the vente cup. So I'm just, I put it on there and I'm just gonna let a few roll off. Whichever ones roll off is the ones I'm gonna place manually. So you can buy designs that are built for the ventes, but I didn't find one that I liked. And I'm saying vente, it's vente, because one of y'all always got an issue with how I say stuff. Anyways, um... So yeah, and that's what it looks like. And I placed there's little there was the little sprinkles that came with it. I manually and hand placed manually hand placed. I don't know what's the right word and placed those individual little sprinkles. And so that is what we are working with. So you could stop right here if you want. Like this is a finished snow globe as far as I'm concerned. It was finished before we even put the decals on it. But let's bling the lid. Blame blame. Okay. So I miss New Orleans so much. So this is just the lid that comes with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by, because these lids are really shiny and really slick. And y'all know I'm not big on prepping stuff because I'm just not. But prepping a tumbler and prepping a little lid to me is two different, two different things. Like I'm not, I'm not sanding and spraying. I'm not doing all that. But I can go ahead and sand this little lid. So I just take some super fine uh, sandpaper and I just go ahead and get a little, little sand. You want to make sure that you take all that shine away. That is your goal. That's when you know when to stop. It doesn't take much. A couple swipes here, a couple swipes there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just clean it off again with the isopropyl alcohol. And so um, I'm going to paint the lid with just some acrylic paint. It's just acrylic paint from Michaels. And so this paint was really, it wasn't really that opaque. And so I do like quick layers. So when you work really thin, the... Um, the acrylic paint dries really fast. So you can do, I did like three layers back to back to back. Like I didn't stop. As soon as I got done with one layer, I went ahead and did the next layer, next layer, next layer. So that's how quick you can work with acrylic paint if you do it thin enough. And so I am, the video is moving. Um, and so the first thing I do, I use liquid fusion as my glue and I go ahead and do my anchor line. My camera had actually cut off, so but I had needed to go ahead and finish my anchor line. And so I finished my anchor line and then I let it dry. So... And that's just because your anchor line is what's going to set the tone for how you're going to stone your lid. And so you want that, that line to be solid together and not movable. And so to make sure it's not going to move, I need to make sure it's dry. So you don't have to do that, but that's just my method. And so I wait at least 30 minutes after my anchor line before I go in with my next line. Um, and I don't know if anchor line is a real term, but that's just what I call it. Call it what you want. And I know y'all are probably like, Mon, is that a rhinestone kit you're working on top of? It is. So I made this kit myself. I found these um, these containers at Marshall's. And so I am coming out with rhinestone kits. They're not going to be like this because, like I said, I've got this at Marshall's. It was like $8. And that is completely unfeasible for me to ask someone to pay an extra $8 well for a case and then I would have to charge you more than that because no one's in business for free um but yeah I do got rhinestone kits coming they're going to be super affordable and they're going to have a nice case it's not going to be like this exact case that you see underneath me but they're going to be a nice case and it's going to be a nice little affordable kit because yes we do affordable over here um 
fun fact, y'all, I don't know if y'all know this, because like I told you, I have a full-time job and I have another part-time job, is that I don't, any money I make from Period 6, I actually don't touch it. I do this because I love it, and I love helping y'all, and I love providing y'all with high-quality high quality products at a great price. And so, because... For me, this isn't a business and it's not, I'm not trying to support my lifestyle. Like I bought my bins with my full-time engineering job paycheck. I want y'all to know that because I feel like a lot of the girls now you're seeing people, they trying to come up off y'all. And I want y'all to know I'm not trying to come up off y'all, baby. I got a job. I'm here because I want to be here and I hope y'all are here because y'all want to be here. And I appreciate y'all and I'm happy you're here. But anyways, so I've been going on hella rants in this video. This is what happens when the videos be long. If you're new here, I'm sorry. When the videos get long, I get off topic a lot. But, you know, mute me. <laughs> anyways, and so... Now I'm just going to go ahead and finish that up. And so when I'm usually doing the lids, because it's a circle, a circle that the diameter gets smaller each time you go in, is that I kind of stack them. So I don't try to do like the windows method, brick layer method, whatever you want to call it. I just kind of stack them like one stone and then it's touching another stone. It's not trying to sit between two stones. Um, and once, and if you paint the lid, and even if you don't, I found out even if you don't paint the lid, it still looks really nice. Um, so you will, there was a couple of circles, I think maybe one or two where I did have to use a SS 16. Oh, those are SS 20 stones. I'm so sorry. Y'all didn't even tell y'all SS 20 stones. It's like 300. I'm, I'm guesstimating it to be about 300 ish stones. Um, no more than three between 300 and 500, but I'm thinking it's closer to 300. And so now I'm just finishing off the lid with two little rows of SS 16 on the inside of it. And that is the shade Mean Girls. I'm tripping. I'm talk too much. So yeah, that was the color Mean Girls. And that is what it looks like. And you can pick up those rhinestones over at pigsixglitter.com. And so this is the finished product. Whew, thank you for hanging with me, y'all. Appreciate it. And so that is what we're looking like. This is what it looks like when the cups has just been sitting. It's not shaking up or anything. And so, you know, I don't know if, you, if you're new to snow globes. Snow globes don't move all day, baby. <laughs> uh, they move when you shake them like a regular snow globe. Because when the snow globe isn't moving, the snow just sits on the bottom. Um, and that's what our lid looks like. And so this one... I'm going to shake it up. I'm trying to shake it up and make sure I don't hit the camera and break my wrist in the process. And that's what it looks like when you get a little movement to it. So, yeah. And we have our little donuts in there. See that move. And so the 50-50, it's a pretty, it's a slower move. And so I want to find some combinations that I like to do a faster moving snow globe. I like the, the slow moving snow globe, but I know it's not everybody's jam. So if you have a, I guess a recipe that moves a little faster, let me know what your ratios are. And then I will try to replicate it over here on the channel. So that's all I got for you guys. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us, you know, here over on YouTube, Period 6 Designs. Follow us on Instagram at Period 6 Designs. You can follow us on TikTok at Period 6 Designs. And we're also over on Pinterest and Facebook at Period 6 Designs. So that's it. And thanks for hanging with me. And I will see you guys in the next one.